Did you hear that? A bomb. What do you think when you hear a bomb go out? Destruction. Things not happening right. And when I think about our chapter two, the flattery tongue, wow. What happens when we do not use what God has given us in the right way? And we choose to do flattery. What is flattery? Let's ask some questions. What is flattery? It can be a lie that's covered beautifully in flattery words. What else could it be? It could also be an insincere compliment. There are times when we definitely need to praise and congratulate and encourage people. But what's the difference between the two? The difference is, I believe, the intent. So why do we do it? A lot of times we do it because we want to get favor from other people. Sometimes we do it because we want acceptance. And it could even be a survival technique. So what I need to do sometimes, I need to pull out my mirror and I need to have a, I need to look at myself and I need to talk to myself and have a conversation and say, why do I do this? Why do I flatter people and try to get something my intent accomplished. Maybe I do it because when I look at myself, it may be low self-esteem. When I look at myself closely, it might be because I want to be liked. But if I pull it up real close, hmm, it's probably because I have a lack in faith of God to be able to give me the favor that I need. You know, Psalms 5 and 12 says that favor for the righteous comes from God. I can't create my own favor. But many times when I lack faith that he will do what I want him to do, then that's where the flattering words come about. It's like I want control. I want trust. I, I, I lose trust in him because I want control. I get nervous, I get anxious, so I feel like it's something that I must do. But favor comes from God, not because I've earned it, not because I'm right, but because I'm in standings with him, he's willing to do that for me. So I also need to be concerned about when I use flattery, how does it affect the other person? Well, when I flip my mirror over, I don't know about that other person. They may be experiencing insecurity. That other person might have low self-esteem when they're looking in their own mirror. And they might not have had any affirmation in all their lives. So when I come with these flowery words, it's like a bomb going off. And it's silent and I don't even know it. I don't know what type of damage that I am doing to my fellow brother or sister. Because many times the person that I'm using the flattery words to, they may feel vulnerable. They may feel unaccepted. They may have issues with feeling unattractive and they just might be emotionally unhealthy. So, what does God say all about all of this flat using flattery words? Am I in a in a unhealthy position to even accept flattery words? He says that in Psalms 12:3, the Lord shall cut off all flattery lips. Oh my goodness, that makes me nervous. He'll cut off all flattery lips. I need to be connected to God. I, I don't need the distance. I need to be close with him so he can direct me in all that I do. Have you ever felt like you were just a little off? Things wasn't working out right? It might go back to our tongue sometimes. So what do we do? Well, let me tell you. There is a song that I think that captured it all. Because I think the songwriter knew that sometimes our words are not correct. And what the songwriter did, I believe that he knew that it's a heart thing. It's some things that's going on wrong on my insides. And so they need to be cleaned up. And in the medical world, you know, they will put a catheter in anything 
that has uh, inflammation or uh, things that it needs to come out. So when I was thinking, what do we do when we're flattering words and trying to be in control? What do we do if we're the person receiving those words and, and, and I'm unhealthy in my emotions and in my heart? We need a catheter. And we need a catheter, which is the Holy Spirit, to touch our heart and to pull out all of those things that might not be right so we could get on the right track. So the songwriter said, he said, give me a clean heart so that I can follow thee. So I think as you read your affirmation today, I think that as we think about uh, our ability to believe God can take care of us and we don't have to try to be in control to change things, I think our prayer today needs to be anytime we pass by the mirror, we need to say, God, give me a clean heart so that I can serve you. Lord, fix my heart so that I may be used by you. I'm not worthy of your blessings. I can't take control and make it happen, but give me a clean heart and I'll follow thee.